Dean is off, but he left us his streaming picks, including a new season of Ted Lasso. I love you guys so very much. On three, one, two, three. I love you guys so very much. For new streaming series this week, the Emmy award-winning hit soccer comedy Ted Lasso returns for its third and final season. See it on Apple TV+. Plus. On Netflix starting tomorrow, there's season two of the fantasy series Shadow and Bone, about a woman with magical powers trying to stop an evil supernatural villain bent on world domination. Also this week, there's Swarm, about a fan whose obsession with a Beyonce-type pop star takes a dark turn. Catch it on Amazon Prime Friday. And Class of 07, a tidal wave hits an Australian all-girls school during a 10-year class reunion. Another woman was strangled, just came over the wire. I'm killed in the follow-up. You don't have a story. How many women have to die before it's a story? For new movies this week, Hulu offers Boston Strangler, about journalists working to solve the infamous murder case and track down a serial killer. Karen Knightley and Carrie Coon star see it on Friday. On Netflix, there's the animated adventure The Magician's Elephant, about a boy's epic adventure to follow his destiny. Mandy Patinkin, Benedict Wong, and Miranda Richardson co-star. And for new reality shows this week, three famous single women go looking for love in the new show Queen's Court. Tamar Braxton, Nivea, and Evelyn Lozado star. See it on Peacock starting Friday. And there's also the documentary Back to the Drive-In, a look back at this old school way to take the whole family to the movies and how several drive-ins around the country are trying to bring it all back. See it on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, and Vudu. We wanted to strip away the artifice that inevitably emerges after you've been around this long. And finally, Bono and the Edge from U2 returned to Dublin to talk about the songs that have shaped their band's legendary story. David Letterman hosts Bono and the Edge, a sort of homecoming. See it on Disney Plus starting Friday. You can see more by scanning the QR code that's on your screen with your smartphone, and that'll take you to a link for my current and past movie reviews and also my home video picks. Dean Richards, WGN News.